Last August, remember Dowling College in Suffolk County on Long Island? It suddenly, it closed. Money problems. The college is being sued by creditors, vendors, faculty and staff, and students. And now the school's final chapter is being written as the campus goes on the auction block. New at 6 tonight, Jennifer McLogan reports on the campus for sale in Oakdale. It's a dreary day on the Dowling campus and do not just to Mother Nature. The bankrupt college could soon be carved up. An auction of its prime property set to begin, anchored by its immense 110-room William Vanderbilt mansion built by the billionaire at the turn of the 20th century. The woodwork on the inside, the fireplaces, the staircases, it's no wonder brides were fighting to have their weddings here. The Oakdale Historical Society is petitioning the town of Islip, asking that the treasured buildings of the old estate be designated for landmark protection. If sold piecemeal or torn down to make way for the new, the potential for change to the area is unlike any in the last half century. It's going to be lost. The Barron family lives in what was once the gardener's house. This whole area here once was part of the estate. You know, the railroad station was built so he could have his daughter wed and a carriage could take him down to the mansion. Vanderbilt. The main campus on the Connecticut River is in Oakdale. Its aviation program, additional dorms and athletic fields in Shirley. The college owns an island near Smith Point Park and 32 residential properties. David Panetta, executive director of Cushman Wakefield in Melville, says it is not out of the realm of possibility that it can remain a campus. Other countries are kind of sick of having all their best students leave and coming into the United States. So they're now opening up campuses uh, here. It's something that we're sitting back and waiting to see who the successful bidder is. The deadline for sealed bids for 25 acres of the main campus, once known as the Idlehour Estate, is tomorrow. The auction set for April 4th. From Oakdale, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Dowling's bankruptcy per petition includes more than 625 claims totaling $66 million from those who have a stake in the liquidization of the shuttered college.